we launched this particular table called Amakishi Table. Uh, it was 29k then, it was really super affordable. And you know, from there, a lot of young people started tweeting about it. Oh, have you seen this new brand? You know, like the, the IKEA of Africa. This is not IKEA, this is Ikeja. Let me take you to our space at Taylor. Lagos is known as one of the world's fastest growing cities and urban areas. From here, the revolution to change the African lifestyle expands. And she is the one who started it all, Jumoke Dada, who runs Nigeria's biggest and billion dollar worthy furniture company. Yeah, like four main sections here at Taylor. We have woodwork, welding, upholstery, and spray. Initially, when I was like starting Taylor as a brand, uh, most of the furniture brands I see around have that, have that Italian feel or this bulky Chinese feel. There were no brands, you know, doing things like uh, incorporating local materials like Thai and Dai, Adire, Ashoke and Ankara. The reason why I'm doing this is I really want every single African to own a tailor piece and be so proud that, you know what, this is made locally by my own people. Yeah, I don't feel like I've done something or I'm satisfied till the customer says, oh, this is made in Nigeria, you know, this is similar to what I would get from Europe or from the US. So these are like some of the sofas that's been done. Um, so I would like Kemi, Siwa Bimbag, Femiche. The name comes from people that work at Taylor sometimes, even from some of our friends. Uh, it's just so that like people can see a part of themselves in those pieces, you know. People that love the piece initially were majorly expatriates because you know what? Oh, this looks like it's Nigerian, and later on, like a lot of Nigerians started adopting it because it reminds them of Ashwebi and Owambe and all of those things. For a country that relied on international furniture purchases, young creative designers such as Jumoke have closed the gap by creatively designing pieces that are different yet affordable using locally sourced raw materials. Bringing Nigeria center stage in this challenging and competitive market. Next time you sit on a chair, it might just be a Taylor furniture masterpiece. Even when Jumoke Dada goes out, she sees her success before her eyes. I'm excited to be here at Danfo Bistro. I think it's one of my favorite places, so I enjoy coming here too. You know, eat and have meetings. Right now, I'm like here to like have a meeting with one of my colleagues at work. It feels good to just come around and get to see the things that we get into at Taylor, come to life and see how people interact with it. And I'm, I'm kind of really excited I get to interact with it as well each time I come here. I like some of the initiatives that were taken at Taylor. The most recent being the pay with Flexi that we recently just launched and you can see how that has caught fire and like customers are really excited about it because it gives them the flexibility of um, owning tailor pieces that they've always wanted to own and just um, conveniently spread the payment across a, a certain number of months or at their convenience. I'm also very excited about the ARVR. I know that that's even going to be bigger for us because it just launches us into like an entirely different um, landscape. You don't have to go to a brick and mortar but from the comfort of your home, you can literally interact with our, with our pieces and just, just generally have that experience. And yeah, it's definitely fun. It's, it's fun working with Jumoke, fun working in, uh, <laughs> for working with you. I don't see Taylor stopping in Nigeria. I see Taylor in East Africa. I see Taylor in South Africa. I see Taylor in Europe. I see Taylor in America. And I feel it's just a matter of time. Uh, Taylor will get to that point whereby the way you have Roche Bobois France, you know, IKEA is Swedish. Then a brand from Africa, you know, like Taylor would go ahead to become an internationally recognized brand.